camera lens, lens is water all over it. I know. Fish gone. We Fish lost off. It. We lost it. This video is brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Today we have something special planned. We're going offshore fishing for mahis, tunas, whatever we find. I'm thinking mahis. What do you think, Amanda? Mahis? Mahis and tunas. Mahis and tunas. But we have Gail Force Mom with us, and of course we have Kona. My name is Emily. Amanda's behind the camera. This is Kona. This is Gail Force Mom, and welcome to our channel, Gail Force Twins. Before we head offshore, let's take a minute and look at how we rigged our rods. The last thing you want to do is get out there and be on a school of fish and not be prepared for the fish that you run up upon. This rig that I'm going to show you guys is super cool, super easy, super fun to make. And what I love about it is that you get to make it pretty much from scratch. So we went to Dick's Sporting Goods and we got everything we needed right here for this rig. First and foremost, we have our fluoro or our line. And this is the line that comes off the braid. We have 40 pound suffix line. Moving on we have this squid. Now you can see this squid is green. Yes. And we also have a pink one. So we have one rigged with green and one rigged with pink. We did two different colors on purpose. And when we get out there, if the green one's getting all the bites, we'll switch the pink one to green. And if the pink one's getting all the bites, we'll fix, switch the, the pink, pink one, one to green. green. The green one, the green to, one pink. to pink. You guys get the point. Moving on, we have this egg sinker. This is an eagle claw egg sinker. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the egg sinker and we're going to put it inside the head of the squid. squid. So it's gonna make it a little bit weighted and it won't be so high on the surface. It'll basically just bring it down a little bit so that way it's not just sitting on the surface. Maybe it's like, you know, a little bit beneath it. Lastly, we have a 7-0 Mustad J-hook. Pretty simple, just tied a uni knot to it. And just to go over more time, we have the J-hook, the egg sinker, and the squid. And we've gotta make sure that the sinker is in the head of the squid. This is the pink squid. It's kind of pink and silvery glow color. It's like a see-through color. A little fun saying is if you have to think, go pink. So if you're not sure, pink's always a safe color. And then again, you can actually kind of see the sinker inside there because the squid is so clear. These are quarter ounce egg sinkers. You want a small enough size that it'll fit in the head of the squid. What's super important is to also have pitch rods ready. So we had our two trollers. So when we, when we find a school, we can troll those lures, those squid lures. But if we get on a school and they're not biting the lures, or maybe we need something else to catch these fish, it's always gonna have pitch rods. Now a pitch rod for us is basically a rod to pitch a bait to. So all we have is these are Mustad circle hooks. These are five O's or six O's, I believe. Anywhere in that five to seven O size range is perfect on 40, 30 to 40 pound, maybe 50 pound liter and it's good for if you get on a school and you need to put some bait on there and literally just pitch it out. Talk about how these pinfish are all dead looking. Hold on, I'm trying to find this fish first. Here he is, right here. Can you guys see this fish right there, that one? Oh yeah. That is going to be a species of toad fish. Now these are poisonous, so let me get this guy out of the live well and back into the water so that he doesn't continue to harm our bait. There he goes. So that's a species of toadfish and they're actually poisonous and what they do is they release this slime and what they've done is they will stun your bait. So we caught that toadfish in our pinfish trap and if you look our pinfish, half of them are upside down floating. They look dead. They're actually not. They're stunned. So now that that toadfish is removed, these pinfish will come back to life. Take a look, Emily. I mean, this is the last one that's floating. He's about to kick in a minute. But when we first pulled that trap, I mean, there was 20 of them that were floating. There he goes. There he goes. We 
we've been running south. We just hit 600 feet of water and we saw some birds and some scattered weeds. So we put our trollers out, we put our little squids out and we are waiting for the bite. Now it's pretty weedy over here and we already lost the birds. It's gonna be tough to see them today because it's very overcast. But if we don't get a bite here in the next maybe five minutes, we're probably gonna run deeper to deeper water, maybe 700 feet. We found a bunch of birds. They look like tuna birds. Emily, if you wanna pan over to these in one second, we've already put our squids out. And what I'm doing is I'm trolling at seven, seven and eight, between seven and eight knots. We're just waiting for that bite. It's gonna happen fast. I know it, Emily, let's get a shot of these birds. They're everywhere. This is like a fisherman's dream offshore. And like I said, oh, we're actually getting closer to 700 feet of water and we're in like 640. My guess is a tuna. Mahi. Mahi? Mahi? Mom's, Gale Force mom says, says mahi. mahi. Small. And small. small. Oh, yeah. small. Small mahi. Let's see what we got over here. It's, it's definitely gonna... small. I agree with that. It's small. Still there? No. Oh. Keep reeling. I do too. Oh, man. Fish gone. We Fish lost off. It. We lost. What do we do now? We do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Going. Stay with these birds. I'm gonna stay with them, yeah. We did it again. We're on and we got a fighter. Oh my gosh. Emily, what's your guess? Uh definitely a tuna. Definitely a tuna. A species of tuna? I'm thinking skipjack because these things were so speedy, so hard to catch up to. How fast did we have to troll? Like, we had to go I don't know, you were 11 it. knots. 11 knots. That's fast, guys. That's speedy. We are tag teaming on this tuna because I put this lure out. I'm not even kidding. I counted to 45 seconds. 45 seconds. So, it's going like. Pro tip if you are targeting tunas, guys, and you have to be trolling really fast, you don't want your lures in the whitewash. So, in order to prevent that, I had to put the lure really far back. So, the downside is your fish is going to be really far away when you hook up. But the benefit is that you hook up. So that's the situation. I also have a feeling that we're bringing in some salad. So there's a lot of weeds out here, guys. And when you get weeds on your line, it can be pretty heavy. So my hunch tells me that we do obviously have a fish on sea ran. But I also have a feeling that we have some seaweed with it. The fish is close. Okay, Gale Force Mom back on the rod. I'm gonna get the gaff. Fish is close. So turn out to your left on me, like face left, and work your fish to the left. I was right about the salad. Definitely got some salad. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of salad. So if it might, it might not be that big. If we were dragging seaweed with us the whole time. But we'll see. Almost there. There's the salad. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know, Emily. Keep it's reeling. Nice, nice job. Ooh, oh, here it comes. Nope. Nope. It's a it's skippy. The, it's a skippy on the green. Squid. One more. There you go. Nice job. Skip deck in the boat. Wait, the skunk is off the boat. Nice job. First fish in the boat. Beautiful skipjack tuna. I love the purple. Look at those horizontal stripes. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. fish. So you may notice how tiny their little pectoral fins are. Look how small those things are. Itty, itty bitty. Compared to black fins, which have pretty large pectorals. So it's pretty crazy that these things are so speedy. And I mean, look at the shape. Look at the shape of this thing. It's a torpedo. These things are torpedoes. All right, Amanda. I'm thinking we keep this. You guys have, we have a recipe. You remember our teriyaki grilled skipjack recipe? So yeah. I think we should make some teriyaki skipjack steaks. Okay. In the box. In the box. Here we go. 
Throw it in the box. On the ice. Fish on. Fish on. And we believe it's a mahi. Emily, what are you doing? Getting the spread and getting the other lure in. And then I'm going to get some fish baits out. You're still on. You're still on. You got to keep. There you go. Perfect. You're still on. Looks good. Looks really good. Okay, Emily, we're getting close to this fish. Start getting those chunks out in case it's a mahi. Okay, Emily is throwing some chunk bait out in case it's a mahi, and if it is a mahi, it will bring friends. Let's keep really slowly. Real nice and slow. See if we have any friends coming around. Emily's casting out a bait just in case. Do we see any yep, it's friends? A mahi, it's a mahi. Okay, it's a mahi. It's oh, a decent oh. Size one too. Okay, we got a, a decent mahi down here. I don't see friends. Emily, do you think this? We should just get this guy in the boat. There he is. Whoa! You just saw a friend right there to the right. Friend, friend, friend. To the right. See it? To the right. There's a friend to the right. Cast that to the right, Emily. Do you want me? They're, they're right there, right, right there, there, right, right, there. There. They're right there. They're right here. Right they're right here. here. Friends, friends, friends. Okay, the friends are here. Leave it right there. They're looking at it. Need some free baits. Keep them here? Yep. Okay. Oh, he's coming here. He is, here he is. There's a friend right there. Watch the bait. We're gonna do our best to team. I, I loosen her drag okay, so try to walk your fish into the net. It's not gonna wanna go into the net. A little higher. No. Now in the net. Backward, backward, back. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I got the fish. All right. Okay, um, now put your rod in a rod holder. Open the bale. Open the bale. Put your rod in a rod holder. And can you grab the net for me? There. Bring him in the boat. Beautiful! Woo! Okay. Nice job. Yes. We got, where's Kona? There's Kona. Oh, Kona. Nice. Okay. Beautiful, Mahi. Nice catch. Ready? Yeah. Acrobats over here. Is he in the net? Oh, nope. Almost. Oh, this is a bowl. A little bowl. Nice job. Nice job, and 
Which lure did, did work? Uh, it was the the green one. We caught every fish on the green one so far today. Every fish on every, the green. And then the bowl was on the pitch bay. We we're running on our way back in from catching the mahis, and we decided to stop on a wreck. We dropped some chicken rigs down, and Gale Force Mom was on. She hooked up. Gale Force Mom hooked up. We are using a chicken rig. Right here, there's the hooks we're using. These are the gamakatsu hooks that we got at Dick's Sporting Goods as well. That's Keep, what I got. Oh, what happened, Emily? It's seaweed. It's seaweed? Keep reeling. Reeling. Oh, and that's nothing. False alarm. Caught some seaweed. Caught some seaweed. This is our chicken rig that we're using. Super simple, guys. We got a lead on the bottom, about a foot up. We have one hook and then another foot. We have another hook, kind of like a tree branch. We have tree branches coming off of our chicken rig. We put bait on them and send them straight down. Unfortunately, we made about three drifts, actually, believe it or not. Wreck bite's kind of slow, but we're pretty happy. We got some mahis, we got a skipjack. I think it was overall a nice, family day on the water. If you guys want to make those squid lures or rig your rods the same way that we do, make sure you head to Dick's Sporting Goods. I'll put all the details in the description box for exactly what we use to make it easier for you guys. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We want you to get out there, have fun, and stay safe.